All right, guys, we're up early. We're on our way to another homesteading conference. So far, we haven't missed our plane. We're on time. We're fine. <laughs> I'm freaking out still. I get, I get plane anxiety. Yeah. It's not like we've never missed a plane before. <laughs> no, I don't want that. We got this. So this time, we're off to Missouri for the Ozarks Homesteading Expo in Marshfield. We've never been to Missouri. This nope. is gonna be fun. Yeah. We're gonna see some good people, learn some good things. I miss my baby stuff. So. Say goodbye to the kids. They woke up early again this morning. <laughs> Say goodbye to the cows and the chickens. <laughs> and we're on our way. So they just drilled me that I'm responsible for how clean this is and how many dings there are in it. There's dirt all over this car. Let's check it Yeah, I am taking a full video of this car. <laughs> this is a nice truck. I have never driven a Ram before, but this is going to be exciting to drive this around <laughs> Missouri. Really excited. We love these homesteading conferences uh, where we get to just absorb other homesteaders' knowledge. Uh, this is kind of my birthday present. It's a late birthday present to me uh, from my lovely wife. She's gave us the permission to, to come over and do this. It's really hard actually because there's lots that we should be doing at home with the new flower farm uh, but we decided we're going to take a break and just kind of enjoy ourselves we're going to visit a few people we'll make some videos about those later um, but yeah we're really really excited uh, the ozarks homesteading expo is mostly missourians missouri people missouri folks <laughs> missourians is that how you say it our missouri friends we always like learning, so it'll be fun. Yeah, we don't know everything, and not everybody does things better or the same. Yeah. So you got to be very individual, but kind of take everybody's knowledge and kind of do what you need to do with your own homestead. And you guys, it's super hot here. Oh my, my, my glasses are steaming up. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> We're so. not used to this kind of heat. We're used to like the dry, super hot heat, but not the wet kind. It's still hot. I was sweating in random places. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stop it. We're going to turn on the air conditioner. We're going to go for a drive. <laughs>
we are on our way to the expo. We had a late night last night. We were traveling the whole time. Spent the day with some friends. We'll share a video about that later. And we surprised my aunt in Kansas, which was incredibly fun, but that kind of delayed us a little bit. So we slept in, we feel really good. We're ready for this thing. Uh, we looked over the schedule, lots of good speakers, lots of we're really torn between how we're gonna spend our time. So we'll, yeah. we might have to divide and conquer, but we're excited for today. Yep. I guess let's go. <laughs> answer one of the earlier questions is why would we come all the way to Missouri for this homesteading conference it seems like this like the lard making classes the beekeeping classes oh that breeze feels so good <laughs> did I mention that I'm sweating um, a lot here in Missouri so we might be the weirdest Californians on the planet um, we love the homesteading crowd. We love the holistic things, raising your own food off the land. And for real, I think sometimes you got to go far away to other places to learn some of the skills that you really, really want to learn. So here we are seeing these things being done hands-on, and that is so valuable to us because if somebody else can do it, we can do it. Dude, that breeze. I almost don't care if you can't hear me because that breeze feels so, so good. So here we are in Missouri, seeing people do it hands-on, teaching us, showing us. But if we can watch somebody else do it, that gives us more confidence to do it ourselves. So lard soap is definitely one of the things that we want to do on our homestead. Lard. Look at you and then the notes. outside still kind of I want to make oily. Sleep. And by the time it's, it's cool. done, now your, your towel gets pretty hard. We're blowing 
Nope. Nope. Do you know that like 75% of our honey is imported? Comes from China. Yeah. Which is amazing because, so Dr. Leo explained, mostly we get a little wind, which feels fantastic but is bad for audio. The state of Kansas had like 10 times as many bees 100 years ago than it does right now, which is crazy because we can have our own bees and produce our own honey. Local honey is really, really expensive. Well, but even with the local honey, you have to be careful too because some of the local honeys who like want to produce more. That's true. Like, outsource so it's just crazy so you have to be really really careful it's one of those things if you care about it you got to either raise your own bees or you got to find somebody that does a really really good job with bees that you trust these types of things are super eye-opening to us uh, I'm not gonna say like I was ever really really excited to raise our own bees but now it's like you kind of have to we have to we have a huge flower farm that we're working on we got to feed those bees and we can have a product in the end that's good for our farm and will help pay for the farm. And we're saving the bees and we're bringing that resource onto our property. Like that's just, I love the bees. Yeah. And we found out like, like fresh honey is better than any honey you will ever have in your entire life. So if you find good honey and it's local and you know the person, Pay a little bit more for that honey because it takes a lot of work and you'll see in one of our upcoming videos because we just learned how to harvest honey and we'll share that with you. We are wrapping up here. We're going to watch Living Traditions. It's a packed house right now and then we're going to head home back to California, take these things that we learned and uh, put them to work. We're grateful for this kind of stuff. Yeah, we learned a lot. Yeah. So far we've loved it here. We've seen some good friends. Uh, we've hung out with some good people. We've met some fans, which is still crazy to us. Uh, we're just, just good we're just humble, normal humans people. trying to raise our own food. There's nothing special about us. If we could do it, you could do it too. So let's go check out Living Traditions Homestead. Okay, so the <laughs> noise in there was so bad, but we really, really liked uh, Living Tradition. Traditions talk. Yeah. It was so good. Talked about how to make money on the homestead, how to make a living off of YouTube. It was a lot of get rid of your debt and work really hard. So we really appreciated them kind of detailing that. It's nice to hear mm -hmm. retired or hot and sweaty. We're gonna be headed home. We've got a flight early in the morning. But we are very, very grateful that we we're able to come here. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Make sure you press that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not, and make sure you click that notification bell. So you know every time we have another video coming out, we're gonna work harder on getting out frequent videos. So stay tuned. We'll see you later. Thanks guys. Bye bye. Obviously everything is not Amish here. Oh. <laughs> just a, just a hunch. Okay, never mind. That's we we were duped. It's a total tourist trap. <laughs> just because you put a picture of an Amish buggy on the product does not make it Amish made. So Rude. we're 
I know. We were not go find deceived. I know, we gotta find a legit Amish place, not a fake Amish place.